Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be checking out the brand new music app in iOS 8.4 Beta 1. With iOS 8.3 just coming out to the public last week, I find it crazy that we're talking about iOS 8.4 already. It's just crazy to me. Nonetheless, Apple did push out iOS 8.4 Beta 1 to developers earlier today, a little later, about 5 hours later than they usually do in my time zone. Nonetheless, I want to talk to you guys about what's new. And if you have been on Twitter, or at least you follow me, I'm sure you've already seen screenshots of the big thing that's new in this update, and that is the completely redesigned music app. So let me go ahead and launch that up for you guys, and let's break it down. So this is the brand new homepage for the music app. It's titled My Music. It'll show you recently added, just like the new update to iTunes does, or iTunes 12 in general. And down below, it'll show you a few things. So you can select it to show artists or albums, really whatever you prefer. And actually, if you close out of the app, it will intuitively remember what section you like looking at. You can see I selected albums, closed the app completely, actually killed it, and it still showed albums. So I think it's very cool that you can customize it now because artist album songs, and I think genres, definitely artist albums and songs used to be on the bottom of the app. And we'll talk about the new navigation options in just a moment, but first I want to show you guys the artist view and then of course the really, really nice looking now playing view. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit, find Coldplay, and right here you guys can see at the very top of the app is a picture of the banner, a featured picture that Apple has put into the music app. I think it looks very nice. Something very cool is that when you scroll down to look at the albums and songs by this band is that it kind of blurs out just like that. I think it looks super nice from a design standpoint. And then, like I said, down below is all the albums as well as songs that you've purchased or loaded onto your phone from this particular artist or group. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Paradise, which is a great song, by the way. And as soon as I do, as soon as I do that, take a look at what happens down below at the bottom of the screen. A new, as Apple calls it, mini player pops up with a little pause button that you can tap. It's very small in my opinion, but you can definitely tap it to play or pause the song, as well as some information like song's name, album, as well as artist. And then in the bottom right corner, there's a little like more info section that was kind of hard to click, just like the play button. They definitely need to make that area bigger in the future, but it says when you tap that, make available offline, show in the iTunes store, or you can also delete the song if you have it loaded onto your device. So now I'm going to tap on the song and look at this guys. This is the brand new now playing view in the music app, and I think it looks so, so nice. In previous versions of the music app in both iOS 7 and 8, it was just so, so white. And although that matched the design language that Apple was using in iOS 7 and 8, it just wasn't that visually appealing in my opinion. So here we go, we've got a completely overhauled version of the now playing view. You've got the album art up top as well as a little arrow to tap. But what's also cool is that you can now drag down on it, which Spotify uses as well as the Sonos app. Very user friendly. You can just drag up, drag down to access or close the now playing view. To scrub throughout the song, you just drag on this little line right here. And then down below, you've got your controls, volume slider, shuffle, repeat, as well as a very cool new cue option. You guys can see right here, it says up next. And it's going to play everything that Coldplay has, starting from the song that I started at as well as everything else down below it. And you can also add music straight from here. So if I go to artist, here's all the music I can add to my queue straight from the now playing view. And of course, if you do wish to clear the queue, there's a button to do that right here. The last thing I want to show you guys that is completely new in the music app is universal search. So no matter where you are in the app, you're always going to see this cool little magnifying glass in the top right corner of your screen. And when you tap on that, you have two options. You can either search in the My Music section, which is going to be everything on your phone or in your iTunes library, as well as radio. So let's go ahead and just search for Coldplay once again. And under My Music, you can see all this comes up, pretty much everything you guys have already seen in this video. And over on the radio tab, just as the iTunes store would do, as you type in letters, it's automatically going to suggest things for you to search. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to tap on the first one and you can see from here it's Coldplay Radio, uh, Coldplay Tribute Radio, all kinds of stuff, many different radio stations based on whatever I searched. And there you go guys. This was just about everything you need to know regarding the upcoming redesigned music app found in iOS 8.4 Beta 1. Of course, if new changes are discovered sometime in the near future, click on the eye in the top right corner of the screen. It's going to shoot you over to a blog post on my completely new website where you can read 
and see some screenshots about this update as well as other things that could be new if they are discovered after this video goes live on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like down below and of course subscribe for more content related to iOS 8.4. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS and I will talk to you guys in my next video.